Hello there, Whipper here, and once again, welcome back to another GTA 5 mod showcase. And today, guys, I'm really excited to show you this mod because it is the first fully working custom vehicle mod that I've found. There have been some other ones that have been released, but pretty much all those other ones did uh, was have a static kind of model of a car, and the wheels weren't moving, you couldn't open the doors, it was just a model, and it was a bit disappointing really but finally we've got a vehicle mod which completely replaces the car and in this case it replaces the banshee and as you've probably seen by the thumbnail and the title the car we're looking at today is the mazda rx7 and this version is the mad mike drift spec version so yeah this is what it looks like and it looks incredible really detailed model work here and the amazing thing about this is the wheels turn, it's just like a normal car, you can open the hood, you can open the boot, you can open the doors, everything works, it's just brilliant. Now you can't customise it, so you can't like change the body kit or anything like that, um, but it still is a fully functioning car and it just looks amazing, doesn't it? So let's just have a little closer look of this car, let's crouch down, look at that front end, oh it looks incredible. Uh, we've got this custom livery here. Uh, from Mad Mike's car and it just looks incredible and I love the rear end of RX-7s I love those tail lights it just looks amazing and yeah we've got all the sponsors showing here we've got Red Bull, Need for Speed, everything just awesome so let's just get in this car now and drive it around a bit see what it's like and I'll just show you the internal view here so let me just go into first person again let me in so you can see we've got the massive vertical handbrake there uh, which you often see with drift spec cars got loads of um, gauges on the passenger side there I don't know what they're showing, but there you go. But yeah, we've got a roll cage, we've got proper bucket seats, and it just looks awesome inside. It's not the highest quality texture work, it's pretty low quality, but this is a work in progress mod, and I'm pretty happy with this so far. I mean, this is just awesome. We've finally got custom cars in the game, and I'm excited to see what we get in the future. So yeah guys, here we are in our lovely RX-7 here, and I've just noticed something. You can see the lights on the front there, they're not fully up, which kind of indicates to me that the lights won't work. Well, they do kind of work. You can see the lights coming through, but they're not fully up yet. So maybe that's something they're going to do in the future where you can actually like put the lights up and put them down again. I love those retractable lights at the front. Uh, but anyway, what I wanted to do now is I'm going to go into my um, mod menu here, the enhanced native trainer, and we can actually open some of the doors on the car. So let's open the front left door, front right door, and we can also open the hood. Look at that. Oh, now we can look at the engine and we've also got the trunk. And yeah, we can see inside the trunk there. Let's just hop out and take a closer look at all this. Um, and yeah, so let's have a look in more detail at the car. So you can see there the bucket seats with the race harnesses and that amazing handbrake there. And we've also got the rear end, so you can look in the trunk. There's no spare wheel, but I'm presuming they took that out to save weight and make it drift better. Uh, we've also got around the front here the engine. And as I said earlier, it's not the best texture quality, as you can see there. And the model work needs some improvement. Uh, but for a work in progress mod, this is pretty impressive. We've got a completely custom model here, and it just looks awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much it for what the car looks like. The only thing remaining now is for us to get in and actually start driving the thing. So let's start driving this thing. And the first thing, of course, we need to do is do a burnout, because why not? Here we go, you can see the wheels are turning, it's a fully functioning car, this is just amazing. And I love the spoiler on the rear end there, generating tons of downforce. But let's get going, and look at this thing. Oh, I can't believe it, we've finally got fully implemented car mods in the game, custom vehicles. I'm really excited to see what we get in the future really, because that's the thing I've been waiting for most, custom car mods. Because I remember in GTA 4, there were some really cool um, custom cars that people were adding. Uh, anything could be added to the game and was that another rx7 just parked on the side of the road there it seems like the random ai can spawn those cars and if you're wondering why there's no traffic i disabled it because yeah i have that power uh, but yeah so we can just drive around in our lovely rx7 here and sadly we can't do any drifting because i haven't got the drift mod installed and there is a reason for that and that is when you install the real drift mod uh, the car gets lowered down tons and with this car because it's already super low to the ground uh, the body kit kind of gets embedded in the ground, and if I showed you that, you'd think there was something wrong with the model. And there's nothing wrong with it. So what I'm going to do is, after this, I'm probably going to install the mod and do some drifting in this thing, uh, so you can see what it should be driven like. But let's go into the cinematic camera here and take a look at it from afar. Hopefully, give me that view. No, we're not getting the view. Give me the lovely view, like the chase cam that we get. 
Uh, there we are. Oh, that looks incredible. Oh dear, I just crashed it into something. And that actually reminds me uh, to talk about something else. And that is that there's no damage modeling with this car yet, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, so there's no damage modeling yet. So you can crash it all you like and it won't change the appearance. And wow, look at that. That is awesome. So yeah guys, I've got the real drift mod installed now, and as you can see, as a result, our car has been lowered so much that it's now scraping on the ground, and the tyres are poking through the wheel arches, which is not the best, but still. Now we should be able to drift this car really nicely, and it should handle pretty much the same as a Banshee would, uh, with the real drift mod installed. Now I've never actually attempted to drift the Banshee, so this is brand new for me. Let's see how well this thing does. Uh, come on, come on. Okay, it's not too bad actually, it's quite good. Uh, yes. Oh yes, this is great. And of course we will be drifting through mountain roads because that's definitely how it should be done. It's just the coolest. Get this thing sliding. Oh yes, this is incredible. And I just love this car. It looks amazing. And no wheel on the grass there. Not too bad. Not the end. And flick it round. Oh yeah, I just love this real drift mod. And paired with this RX-7 mod. Oh, it's just incredible. Get it sliding. Round we go. Quickly swap it the other way. Oh yes, this is awesome. I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Keep it sliding. Really long, nice drift there. And we've got to end this video with some donuts, of course, with the cinematic mode. And here's a nice junction to do it at. So, cinematic mode, and let's do some donuts in this amazing car. Oh yes. Come on, keep it going. And yeah, we're now doing donuts in this thing. And it just looks amazing from the cinematic mode. Thank you for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be seeing you next time. Oh, yeah.